Celebrity relationships aren't known for their longevity, but some power couples do manage to survive for the long run, even without getting formally hitched. Here are 15 of our favorite long-term but still unmarried twosomes. Let's start with the ultimate example of a successful, long-term Hollywood relationship between two committed partners who have famously chosen not to wed. Goldie Hawn and Kurt Russell. The couple met in 1966 while filming the movie The One and Only Genuine Original Family Band. Nothing happened between the two for one big reason. While Hawn was 21 at the time, Russell was only 16. It would be a decade and a half before this iconic couple started their love affair after meeting again in 1983 at an audition. On an episode of the talk show Harry, Kurt confessed that the pair slept together on their first date, and hilariously that they were interrupted by the police. Stop us interrupt us, I guess. Yeah. They'd broken into the home Han was renovating. Han and Kurt have now been together for four decades, and they have a child together, hockey player turned actor Wyatt Russell. And Kurt is regarded as a father figure by Han's two other children, actors Kate and Oliver Hudson. While Han and Kurt make magic together on screen, Overboard is a classic. It's their close family and sweet love for each other that we most admire. As Han once said on the British talk show Loose Women, Oh, I mean, we've been married before, it didn't work, so why do it again? It takes a strong person to be able to make a life with a celebrity as famous as Oprah Winfrey. Luckily for her, she found Stedman Graham, an accomplished business person, author, and speaker. Winfrey and Graham first met in 1986, and the rest is history. The couple has been together for nearly four decades but is never married. Despite never walking down the aisle, Graham and Winfrey are technically engaged. Graham proposed in 1992. Throughout the 1990s and even into the early 2000s, many speculated about when they would tie the knot, but people have all but given up by now. Winfrey has made it clear that marriage is not important to her and that it's not really a topic of conversation for the couple. In 2017, she told Vogue, The only time I brought it up was when I said to Stedman, what would have happened if we had actually gotten married? And the answer is, we wouldn't be together. We would not have stayed together because marriage requires a different way of being in this world. Academy Award-winning actor Sam Rockwell has always walked to the beat of his own drum, and that includes his stance on both marriage and parenthood. He once told The Guardian, I definitely don't want to become a parent. It's not my bag. I think being an only child means you learn to live in your own world, but also children are a lot of work. That interview took place in 2007, and true to his word, Rockwell has not had kids in the years since. He has, however, found love. Rockwell met fellow actor Leslie Bibb at the famed Chateau Marmont toward the end of 2007. While their love story began on the West Coast, they ended up putting down roots in an East Village loft in Manhattan. The two maintain a relatively private, low-key existence, and the life they have built does not include any paperwork, despite speculation about marriage after Rockwell referred to Bibb as his wife while on the 2018 awards circuit. They never go more than two or three weeks without seeing each other, even when working on location, to ensure their continued closeness. Many people still link Courtney Cox to her ex-husband David Arquette since they were such a visible couple and have remained good friends over the years. But the couple have been divorced since 2013, the same year Cox met her current partner, Johnny McDade. McDade, an Irish native, is a musician and a member of the band Snow Patrol. He's a staple on Cox's Instagram, but the two have weathered a few bumps in the road on the way to bliss. The pair were introduced by their mutual friend, singer Ed Sheeran, and it got hot and heavy quickly. Everyone that Johnny comes in contact with, he betters. By April 2014, Cox and McDade were living together only eight or nine months into their relationship. They announced their engagement in June of that year, but broke up in November 2015. But it took only months for Cox and McDade to reunite, and things have been relatively smooth sailing from there. In a 2019 appearance on The Ellen DeGeneres Show, Cox said, We were engaged and now we're just together. We broke off our engagement and he moved to England. Then we got back together and it's actually better than it was before. And even though the COVID-19 pandemic drove an ocean-sized wedge between them, Cox and McDade wouldn't split up for a second time. Paul Dano and Zoe Kazan have been together for a good chunk of their adult lives. They first connected in 2007 at rehearsals for the off-Broadway play Things We Want. In a 2012 interview with W Magazine, Kazan explained, Even when Paul and I met five years ago, we were doing a play together and falling in love, and we kissed on stage before we had ever kissed in real life. When we did kiss in real life, it felt totally different. That offstage kiss must have been pretty good, because the couple has lasted ever since. Dano and Kazan welcomed a baby girl in 2018 and a son in late 2022. Though they have built a beautiful life together, Dano and Kazan haven't expressed any desire to wed. But if this pair were to walk down the aisle, we wouldn't be surprised if they chose to keep it to themselves given how notoriously private they are. 
Mutual friends introduced actor Rose Byrne to her eventual partner, Bobby Cannavale, around the time she was wrapping up a five-season run on the TV show Damages. Cannavale was previously married to screenwriter Jenny Lumet, with whom he shares a son. He and Byrne made their public debut at an event in December 2012 and walked their first red carpet together six months later. They now share two children, sons Rocco Robin, born in 2016, and Raphael, born in 2017. Does the baby look more like one of you than the other? He looks a little like Jeff Sessions. Byrne and Cannavale have appeared in a variety of shared projects over the years, including the film Annie and the miniseries Mrs. America. Though they haven't wed, Byrne has occasionally referred to Cannavale as her husband in interviews. In 2017, she told ES Magazine, "...he's practically my husband, so calling him that is easier." In the same interview, Byrne said that they would get married one day because why not? Although here we are, years later, and there's still no ring on that finger. In a 2021 interview with the Sydney Morning Herald, Burns said, I keep going, let's get around to it, let's do it, and then, you know, you have a baby, and then, oh, there's another baby. I guess for us, it's just been, we didn't do it, we'll do it, then, no, pandemic. Though they've never married, many people assume that Maya Rudolph and Paul Thomas Anderson are wed. Perhaps it's because of how long they have been together, or their baseball team of kids. But it's also probably due to the fact that Rudolph has been known to refer to Anderson as her husband when speaking about him. In a New York Times article from 2018, Rudolph admitted that boyfriend didn't feel like the right term, and that she uses the H-word loosely, saying, People know what that means. It means he's the father of my child, and I live with him, and we are a couple, and we are not going anywhere. The Saturday Night Live legend has been with the 11-time Oscar nominee since 2001. Neither has shared the full story about how they first met. And they're such low-key celebrities that we often forget they're a couple until they pop up together at an awards show. The pair share four children, Pearl, Lucille, Jack, and Minnie, all of whom made appearances in Anderson's film Licorice Pizza alongside Rudolph. I do have four kids, yeah. Mm -hmm. and, um, and, and, and people, you know, people have been asking me a lot, like, how do you do it all? And I'm like, you're looking at it. In an appearance on Late Night with Seth Meyers, Rudolph explained, That was actually a magical thing because COVID happened, lockdown happened, and then Paul was told, like, okay, you can shoot now. My kids, their friends, their friends' parents, my parents, my nanny, we were all in it. We were all around, and so we had a little world. For years, rumors swirled that actor Tilda Swinton was in a polyamorous relationship with two men, John Byrne and Sandro Kopp, both of whom are artists. Swinton set the record straight in a 2010 interview with Bust magazine, in which she explained her relationship with former lover and continued close friend Byrne, with whom she shares two children. She was only partnered with Kopp in the present, saying, For the last five years, I've been in another relationship. It's very boring and it's important to rectify because there's some fantasy about us all living in a big hut together. Unfortunately, the rumors still abound, but Swinton doesn't seem like the type to lose too much sleep over what others think about her or her lifestyle. She's out there living her best life. Oh, and did we mention that cop is nearly two decades Swinton's junior and super cute? Get it, Tilda. When she was younger, Winona Ryder's love life was all over the tabloids. The actor's highest profile relationship was with Johnny Depp, to whom she was engaged, but she had plenty of other headline-grabbing boyfriends. Among others, Ryder has been linked to big stars like Matt Damon, Christian Slater, Rob Lowe, and Beck. But these days, Ryder is rather private with her personal life. We do know that she has a partner, though. She's been photographed with her fashion designer boyfriend, Scott McInlay Hahn, on many occasions. Ryder and McInlay Hahn first got together in 2011. Despite the longevity of their relationship, the pair have decided not to walk down the aisle. Ryder has discussed her stance on marriage in the past, most notably in a now-deleted 2016 interview with Netta Porte's The Edit, in which she said, "...I'd rather never have been married than been divorced a few times." Not that there's anything wrong with divorce. When your parents are madly in love for 45 years, your standards are really high. But I've been happily with someone for quite a while now. Seven years later, and the couple is still going strong. A lot of words come to mind when we think of comedian Ricky Gervais, but romantic is not one of them. However, despite his wisecracking exterior, Gervais has been in a relationship with his partner Jane Fallon for roughly two-thirds of his life. Gervais and Fallon met in 1982 when both were students at University College London. Gervais has frequently affirmed that they are dearly devoted to one another, but refuse to marry and have no desire for children. In 2010, he told the Sunday Times, "...just didn't fancy it. Too much hassle. Not something either of us wanted to do. We just didn't fancy dedicating 16 years of our lives. And there are too many children, of course." 
Gervais and Fallon's lack of religious beliefs played a big role in their stance. We are married for all intents and purposes. Everything's shared, and actually our fake marriage has lasted longer than a real one. But there's no point in us having an actual ceremony before the eyes of God because there is no God. It may not be a popular opinion, but it is straightforward and honest, the typical Gervais way of communicating. Action star and full-on zaddy Jason Statham isn't legally married, but is definitely off the market. Statham began dating supermodel and actor Rosie Huntington Whiteley in 2009 after the pair hit it off at a London party. In an Instagram Q&A, Huntington Whiteley said that despite their two-decade age difference, it was instant chemistry. The couple got engaged in 2016, but they've chosen not to walk down the aisle, at least not yet. Statham and Huntington Whiteley have two children together. Their son, Jack Oscar, was born in 2017, and their daughter, Isabella James, came along in 2022. Marriage is still a possibility if we're to believe Huntington Whiteley, who in 2018 told Extra she thinks there will be a wedding someday, but that they've been focused on their careers and then their son. We definitely talk about it. We're looking forward to that time, but it's also not a huge priority to no. us. We're so happy. We absolutely adore this couple, who just may be one of the sexiest pairings in Hollywood. Would. So we don't care if they marry or not, as long as they don't split up. Comedian and actor Sandra Bernhard is anything but shy with her opinions, but the outspoken star has never been one to discuss too much of her personal romantic life in interviews. Other aspects of her life, like her friendship with Madonna or her Jewish roots or her liberal ideals, have all received much attention over the decades. And Bernhard has always been rather open about her bisexuality. It was even worked into her character's storyline on Roseanne. We went to all those singles dances together. Singles dances? I thought we were dating. Still, less is known about her relationship with Sarah Schweitzer, despite them having been a couple for over 20 years. Bernhard and Schweitzer met in the late 1990s, shortly after Bernhard gave birth to her daughter Cicely, whose father's identity is not publicly known. Schweitzer, a former Harper's Bazaar editor, raised Cicely with Bernhard, and though same-sex marriage has been legal in their hometown of New York since 2011, the two have never married. As far as celebrities go, Canadian actor Evangeline Lilly has always been rather private. She pops up from time to time to do press, but maintains a life far away from the glitz and glamour of Hollywood. And we mean that literally, since Lilly lives not in Los Angeles, but in a gorgeous 1970s home in Hawaii. It makes sense, since Lilly rose to fame after starring on the show Lost, which was filmed on the island of Oahu. That's where Lilly met her partner, Norman Colley, who was a production assistant on the Lost set for 47 episodes. Lilly and Colley have two children, son Kahekili and another son whose name has never been reported in the media. After the birth of her first son, Lily gave an interview to Ocean Drive in which she talked about how grounded she's felt since becoming a mother, saying, It helps put everything in perspective when things get stressful or when there's a demand or pressures on me. At the end of the day, it's our family. It's being a mother and a partner and seeing love all around. In the same article, Lily shared that her partner stayed at home with the kids while she worked which just emphasizes the way the family is not caught up on stereotypes or cultural expectations. Lovable character actor Wallace Shawn has been on our screen since 1979. You're likely to recognize his face from projects like Manhattan, Clueless, or Young Sheldon, depending on your generation. You probably also know his voice given the countless animated roles he has undertaken. But because he hasn't often been cast as the lead, Sean has never courted much press. Therefore, his personal life has not been much of a topic of conversation. While the actor has never married, he's not lacking for romantic love. Sean has been in a relationship with his partner, writer Deborah Eisenberg, since 1972. The pair live together in the Chelsea neighborhood of New York City. The couple has no children and has never married, a topic both of them have addressed in interviews. In a 2004 interview with the New York Times magazine, Sean remarked that he wasn't interested in his private life becoming public, saying, I would say it is hard enough to make a plan for how you are going to spend an evening with somebody else, so to make a plan for how you are going to behave in 25 years seems based on a view of life that is incomprehensible to me. In a separate profile in the same magazine, Eisenberg sweetly referred to Sean as her boyfriend and sweetheart, but never her husband. We are relatively confident that singer Enrique Iglesias has never walked down the aisle with his long-term partner, retired tennis player Anna Kornikova, but we would be lying if we said we could guarantee it. That's because the pair are incredibly private people whose lives are not ripe for public consumption. Evidently, marriage is not a priority for the couple, as Iglesias told Parade in 2012, saying, Maybe it's because I come from divorced parents, but I don't think you love someone more because of a piece of paper. 
Iglesias and Kornikova met when the athlete was cast as Iglesias' love interest in the 2001 music video Escape. They immediately became a couple, and there were even engagement rumors circa 2004. But those proved to be false. In 2008, Kornikova told People she has no plans to ever get married. Despite this power couple's resistance to formal paperwork, the pair are still together and raising their three children, twins Nicholas and Lucy, born in 2017, and daughter Mary, born in 2020.